Iranian people are being like doubly hurt by Western sanctions and their own government. And I'm always trying to reach for an alternative that instead of thinking about what can the Western governments do, how could we open up space for thinking about grassroots solidarity, solidarity from below? And that's why I think the historical precedent of the ISA and that whole moment of third world internationalism and solidarity among liberation movements across borders is a really important example or time for us to think with. We're not gonna reproduce the same thing with the same ideologies. The context is different, the times are different, the ideas are different, but there is something about having an alternative for what we can do that comes from making connections between our liberation movements, you know, here and in Iran and not running everything through the governments, which have their own agendas, unfortunately. No free lunch under capitalism. <laughs> well said, exactly.